Here in Austin, we know how to keep it weird while also keeping it professional by housing huge headquarters like Whole Foods and Dell. We get about uh, 10 or 12 visitors, uh, visitor cities every year and they, they come to see what our secret ingredient is while we're doing so well. This week, one Florida city hopes to learn just that. We evaluated about 10 communities throughout the country that had similar size to Greater Fort Lauderdale, went through a whole vetting process, and Austin became the number one city that we wanted to come. We admire the city and we want to come see what's going on in Austin. The Economic Development Group is visiting our businesses, touring our neighborhoods, and trying out our restaurants, all to figure out the best planning practices to take home to Fort Lauderdale. We really admire the culture of innovation that Austin has developed. Um, the University of Texas is obviously a big part of that, um, but we want to, you know, we think that technology is an important driver for our economy as well. Forbes recently named Austin as the second best city for future job growth and one of its most creative cities. It aligns with uh, Dr. Richard Florida's analysis of the creative economy. They call it the three T's, talent, tolerance, and technology. Which is all about, you know, just trying to get the smartest people to, uh, to live near you. And uh, if you do that and you don't care about their religion or you, you eliminate all the prejudices, then they're free to create. Our Texan friends are very quick to say they're from Texas and why that's a great thing. And we admire that. And thankfully, that fourth T isn't traffic. In Austin, Danielle Saar, Time Warner Cable News.